Canva is a fantastic tool to use for just about anything that you want to design, whether it's a presentation, an infographic, like this is a fun infographic that um, I've used these before. You could use it for a timeline. You could use it to just add bits and pieces of information that you want to share with people. You can also use it to create uh, consulting reports if that's of interest. A lot of the options for you are right in here. So if I wanted to do a presentation, there are some automatically built for you. So let's say we wanted to do this one and it has 16 pages. So if I apply all 16 pages, then it's gonna give me um, all of these <laughs> to start updating. And you just simply pop in here and say that this is my presentation. Um, you can resize these boxes so that they will fit. You can resize the text so that all the words fit where it needs to fit. You can put your name here. If you wanted to change these, you could change these. Maybe I want to talk about leadership, followership, and culture um, and oops, climate, something like that. So you could pop in and do things like that. Then when it's, you go to each of the, the slides and you can update it how you want. When you type, uh, click on the boxes, it gives you the chance to update the wording the way you want it. So that's an option. Now, if you want to, um, develop something from scratch, that's also an option. So let's keep poking around here. It's nice to start with something that has a basic template just because it's gonna be the right size for you. So for example, a business card is gonna be smaller than a report um, or a newsletter. So it would be nice to at least start with the right size document that you're looking for. Now, if you don't see it on here, you can always search. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's go up here to search and I'll just put in a consulting report. And it's gonna bring up, these are the types of reports that we have. So it's really up to you which one you pick. Um, again, at this point, we're really just looking for the size. We want it to be eight and a half by 11 so that it would fit nicely on a piece of paper if somebody was to print it out. So we're here and then you can kind of pick, well, let's see, do, do I like any of these um, images? And maybe we like this one, we'll pick that. So we could go with that and it's gonna give you three different options, depending on which one you pick. Some just have a cover page, some have a couple of extra pages. And you can update these as you want it. If you wanna add a page, let's say I wanna bring this page in here, this template in, you could do that. You could bring in several of those. You could bring in several of these, whatever's gonna be necessary for your report. Now, if you don't like um, th this picture, you can replace it. So come in here to photos and let's bring in maybe a conference picture. So, we can find a conference picture that we like, and maybe we'll put that one in there. So there's a, a picture we could put in there. Maybe I don't want this to be so tall. Maybe I would like for it to be, um, this could widen out. We could make that a little bit wider. And then we could bring in this one. Oh, where did that go? Sometimes you have to play with the pictures. Um, like this would take up the whole page, which that could be nice if you make the background here um, a, a specific color so that you could actually read the text. If you don't want that to take up the whole page, you could bring it over and we'll just size it to fit and then bring it in. And this way it'll just take up that bottom page for you, okay? Now, if you wanted to start from scratch, let me show you how to do that. So let's just start from scratch. And again, I, like, I do like to at least start with an actual 
um, maybe just a blank report. Here we go. And I don't have to bring any of these over. I can just start fresh here. So if I wanted to bring in my text, I can add a, a text box here, move it around, make it bigger, and we'll call that um, consulting report. And then you just play with these boxes however you want. Put my name there. Now you'll notice if you move these around, once it gets to the center, it gives you this pink line. It lets you know, okay, this is centered. Um, what, the more things that you add, the more it's going to figure out where is center. Are you centering it with the actual text box up here? Are you centering it with the, the full size page? Sometimes it's easier to drag that out to the page so we know that's definitely centered. And then if you wanna add pictures, again, we could just bring in a nice picture um, let's do, we'll do this one again. And that gives you a fine looking report there. Then if you wanted to add more um, text for the second page, you could put it into columns even. So here we go. And the more that you're typing, the bigger this is gonna get. If you wanted to bring this in as, let me show you how to bring in, um, a background. So here we go. So let's do this because I think this one's important for you to see. Now if I bring it down my text box, it's hidden. It's because it's behind. So you just come up here and you tell it, let's see, position backward. And now this um, box is behind the text, so the text comes forward. You could change the color of the text if you want. You can change the color of this box. So these are some of my favorite colors that I use with my presentations. Maybe I'll do that. And then you could bring in that picture that we keep using to put it in the, in the back. And this would give you the option if you wanted to move things um, now it looks more presentable. This way you can actually read the text, you can still see the picture. And so these are your options, plenty of options with Canva. And um, basically it gives you a chance to be creative and have fun. So there's so many options. You can use these different elements. Um, you can use their photos. You can bring in your own photos. So if you want to upload maybe your logo or something, you could do that. You can use all different sorts of text. So here I'm using this um, doulas text. If I highlight this and change it, I can pick a specific text. So for my brand, I like to use the Playfair, either the Playfair Black or the Playfair Display. Those are, those are my brand um, text. I, the other text that I like to use for my brand is called playlist script gives you a little bit more of a, a fun um, text box there. It's a little bit harder to read. So I usually only use that for a heading. And then at that point, I would bring in um, another text box and change this one to like the Playfair display. And this way it's, it's just a little bit easier to read. Um, and change the colors. You can add your brand colors here. Like I've done, you can add a palette if you're gonna use the same colors over and over again. So for me, um, I've done a presentation for one school and these were their colors. I did a presentation for a company and these were their colors. Um, and then this is another company that I did a presentation for. So you can set up a palette specifically for your client, or you can set up your own. So these are my own brand colors here that I can just easily pick from if I wanna do that and it would change the colors for me. All right, okay, I hope you have fun with Canva.